It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And it is another challenge edition for our hunting series. Mm -hmm. Sarah, our record, we had our first last last time. What's that now? Our first last last time. Our first, first loss. loss. We did. Yeah, our record is now two and one. I mean, you know, it had to happen at some point, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so this is number four. So let's we, go ahead and, yeah, see. Let's find out what we're what hunting for. Is. Today's quarter is brought to you by patron and longtime bourbon knight, John Gramps Wadsworth. Thank you, John. And as an inside joke only a few dozen people will get, what the fuck are you looking at, Gramps? All right, ooh, purple today. Purple? Is it a purple top? I don't think we have purple tops. <laughs> I don't tops. think that's in there. I don't think we have pl purple tops in there. Purple. Purple top. Mm. <laughs> it's very rare, the purple top. Oh. Yeah. No oh bully. Ooh. Four Roses, single barrel, barrel proof. Barrel you know, pick. Uh, barrel pick, barrel It's also proof. barrel proof. Which, you know, you can find up there sometimes, but the challenge I think is gonna be at retail. You're probably familiar with the Four Roses single barrel that's mostly on shelves. That's 100 proof and not a pick. We're looking for the barrel proof version known as the private selection that you will always find from a store, a club, a YouTube channel like us, or from the distillery's gift shop. Four Roses has two mash bills. They're low rye and high rye and five unique yeast strains for a combination of 10 different recipes. But if you think that's gonna make it easy to find one of the 10, you've got another thing coming. Since these are single barrels, the proof and age varies, but typically they're 10 years or older and around the 110-ish area of proof. It was hard to find an exact MSRP for 2024, but they should be around $100. We'll see what the wheel of uh, terms and conditions gives us in terms of an added challenge. Okay, let's give it a go. Out of out town. Out of town. All right. The Wheel of Terms and Conditions gave us an added challenge of having to hunt outside of our hometown. Our time starts now, so let's get to it. Okay, Sarah, I actually think spinning the wheel and getting the out of town thing is good because if we were gonna be lazy and just try to stay in town, I feel like we would have a harder time trying to find a Four Roses single barrel barrel proof pick. I mean, I think we could find one, but definitely not at retail. And I don't think me yeah. and you are willing to spend much more than retail for one. I feel like most people probably feel I don't that think way. we should have to. I don't think we should have so to either. That's gonna be the goal here is, you know, I don't know how the day's gonna go. We may find it at several stores, but I really wanna find that best deal if we- If we well, can't, where are we gonna go? I feel like Richmond. Okay, I've, not far, like 20 minutes. The phone's doing very well. It's it not is, falling it's at not all. Oh. Richmond Tobacco and Liquor was our first stop. A smaller selection here, but right off the bat, we see something we haven't seen in our area yet. Ben Holiday Rick House Proof at 120.1 proof, but $75? We have no idea if this is a good price or not, so we'll hold off for now and probably find it for less later in the day. Four Gate Kelvin collaboration is always something we have to hunt for each year, and here's last year's sitting on the shelf for only $10 over the suggested price. For those looking to try some extra aged bourbons, here's two great ones, and we would take either of these over the 15-year Knob Creek in our opinion. And here's Henry McKenna for $80. Keep an eye on that, it's gonna become a theme today. But whoa, $56 for baby Saz? I hope that's a misprint because no. This maker's BEP wasn't marked, but I asked and it was $74, which isn't awful for what it is. Nice Bartstown Bourbon Company selection. And of course they have the pretty shiny bottles behind the counter. Richmond Liquor and Tobacco Outlet. Mm -hmm. A really nice guy in there, talked to him for a minute. Very cool dude. Yeah, we did see um, the Ben Holiday, the Rick House proof mm -hmm. uh, for 75 bucks, which is something that we haven't seen in our area before and something that we would like to get. Um, but that's not our mission today. Right. And this is the first stop and I, you know me, I'm like, we're not gonna load up early on in this trip. So many times we've done that before. We've yeah. gotten like three bottles at the first stop. So. I know how this goes. Yeah, um, I kinda it'll, feel you. It'll be here later it if will. you wanna come back for it. It will. Uh, interesting thing when we saw all the allocated stuff, you know, behind the counter, kind of, you know, we'll pick something to sort of gauge. And this time it was Weller Antique. Hmm. Down from five hundred dollars to one sixty. Five hundred crazy, crazy. Stupid would never mm -mm. for Weller Antique. No. One sixty is still not great. But I don't know, like, uh, is, is the bottom end sort of falling out on, on some of the allocated stuff? We're gonna have to keep an eye on that I mean, throughout the day. That could be the case. I kind of think it's more of a selling tactic, like was $500, now only 160. And someone will be like, what a deal, I gotta buy it, when really it shouldn't well, even be 160. I don't know, I think it's a tactic. What do you guys think? Liquor World was just down the road and look here, 
It pays to wait. Here's the same Rickhouse proof Ben Holiday, but for $65, so let's get one. But Larceny Barrel Proof at $99? That's a pass. Good to see a Fortuna at a lower price than we find it for in Lexington. And here's some rise. Some store picks in here, but no Four Roses. So what's in the glass case? A bunch of stuff without prices, of course. But whoa, $249 for Knob Creek 18? It's $50 less about 500 feet away at the last store. But we're gonna have to ask about the price on this stag. Well, right down the street from our first stop, yeah. Liquor World. Yeah, Liquor uh, World. Could have walked. Very close, very walkable. Kind of like a liquor barn, would you say, in but, Lexington? Yeah, similar? Bas basically, yeah, like it, but uh, the activities of a smaller liquor store. Okay. Meaning, What's the, that mean? Uh, they mark things up to secondary. Mm, true. Um, Instead of doing like. We see Liquor Barn, they, they, they do might more do. like releases and And they stuff might and do drawings. releases there, I don't know. We don't know. I'm not living here, but um, yeah, you know, $189 for Stag Jr. Mm, a little anecdote, never necessarily always get the first bottle that you see. So like we saw that um, Ben Holiday Rick House proof at the first store, passed on it at 75. Now we see it here. 65 for bucks. 65 bucks, so of course. Grab that puppy. We're gonna grab it, but wait, there's yeah, more. Yeah, it rang up for over 80, so, you know, I took the guy over and I said, well, here was the price tag, and he said, well, that wasn't for this one, and so there just wasn't a price tag there that should have been, so. Which, you know, it happens, just put but... it back and said, no thanks. Yeah, no. And, no. and walked out, so, two and oh. Let's go to three. Okay. Liquor Mart was the next stop, and hey, that's a pick. It's not for roses. It's Weller foolproof? Okay, but no price, so let's hang on to it for now. Larceny barrel proof for $10 better than the last store. Still gonna pass on it for now though. Booker's and Little Book, but 110 for Booker's? I'd rather not. Plus, we already have this release and we got ours for 99. McKenna for 80. So that's just the thing now, huh? Jack Daniel's single barrels though, very tempting. I just found out the price of the Weller foolproof pick, so I'm putting it back. $35 for Buffalo Trace though, that's more like it. And here's their crazy markup items. Liquor Mart, okay. Liquor. Uh, that Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye, uh, mm. 70 bucks, pretty good deal. We lost one recently, <laughs> RIP. Yeah, I started thinking about, you know, kind of starting to replace some of those ryes we lost on the mm. shelf collapse, but ultimately I thought I can, I can hold off. And that's now, not what today's so. hunt is about. Yeah. Kind of the big story about uh, this stop was the price of the Weller foolproof pick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> $200, so yeah, <laughs> back that went. <laughs> Try to put it right back. Back that went. No, no, no. Did see that stag, formerly Junior, 179. A little bit better than what we've seen um, so far today. Yeah, like but, 190 or something like that mm -hmm. earlier, so. But still no four roses uh, pick. Still not buying at that price either. <sighs> Here we go. Kroger Wine and Spirits is always a good place to try because you just never know. And case in point, an Elijah Craig barrel proof pick for 80 bucks. Say what you will about it being just nine years old, but I bet it's fantastic for the price. 88 bucks for Booker's? That sure beats the 110 we saw earlier, but we already have this release, so no need to pick it up. Not happy about the price increase on Evan Williams single barrels over the past few years, but $47 is decent these days, and we need it for an upcoming episode. Same story for this bullet tenure, so we'll pick this one up too at a pretty good price. If you're playing along at home, we've seen Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Weller Full Proof, and now Russell's Reserve. This one a nine year from Warehouse F, but still no Four Roses. Good old Kroger yep. Wine and Spirits. Mm -hmm. They did have a couple of barrel proofs that are generally sought after that I think on any other random hunt day we would be interested in, but those frustratingly aren't the ones that we drew today. Yeah, both nine years, uh, coincidentally. Hmm. We did get a couple bottles we need for some future episodes, so that was nice. Go ahead and get that shopping A done. silver lining, yeah. Um, but so far, Sarah, we're, we're bagel. We're zero for four. Zero for How four. How many more places will we go? Well, Probably. There's, there's, yeah. there's, until we run out of until gas. Until I make Chad stop, basically, <laughs> or we run out of gas. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd better put these bottles here in the in the back instead of having them in front, but yeah. we want to uh, take a little pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the hat, the t-shirt, the uh, sweater, the zip hoodie that I'm wearing, but also all of our glassware, everything else, bottle cut candles, and our new elemental elixir cocktail syrup at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And they're part of the reason why we get to even make these hunting videos. Uh, they also get after the episode exclusive access to our barrel picks and more. Yeah, look at all these wonderful names scrolling I down mean, here. We truly these, couldn't uh, do it without these them. Great people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sarah, it's getting a little hot out. Um, I'm gonna lose 
lose this. I am still chilly, so still I'm chilly. gonna keep mine on. All right, we'll be right back after this. We've got a good feeling about Liquor Mart number two, and we're off to a good start with a nice selection. We've never pulled the trigger on this Luxro double single barrel. Anyone have any experience with these? And what do we tell you about McKenna 10s being around for 80 bucks? This store claims you're saving $10 even. I don't think so. Speaking of savings, Baby Size is marked down $10 and Buffalo Trace is marked down five? What a world. But what's this, a Buffalo Trace single barrel pick for the same price? It's been a minute, so we'll grab this one. Look at all the goodies, including the best price all day for Stag at $150, but still no Four Roses. Liquor Mart number two. So it's to say a quip and then that Who song comes on. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Jess from New Girl. Another sign that, that uh, availability is becoming more of a thing with the Buffalo Trace products, Saz, Mark down $10, Buffalo Trace marked down $5. You a know Buffalo Trace pick? A Buffalo Trace pick, $35 is the same price as the normal Buffalo Trace. Sarah, when's the last time you saw a Buffalo Trace pick? In a liquor store I honestly can't recall in our area. Uh, they also had a Weller foolproof pick, but still no Four Roses. Yeah, you see a Buffalo Trace pick, but not a Four Roses single barrel pick. So. Interesting. Not, I don't have a good feeling about today, but we will see. We've got more places to go, and we, we do. Go. I'm losing hope. I wish I could just like, <laughs> almost. You did it. I also look like cousin it. <laughs> <laughs> Derby liquor was next, and this place didn't have that big of a selection. We made the right call getting this bottle at Kroger. They had the typical eye candy. Blanton's was 110, so you get the idea. Kind of a bust. Oof. Not much there. Um, but store number six and, mm. and still nothing. Y'all, it's not looking good. I don't know. What do you guys think at this point in the video in the comments? Do you think we're gonna find one? Cause I don't. We took a trip to a boozy bar next. And look, they have everything we've been looking for. Oh, that's the window. Never mind. Really nice selection inside. We'll give you a moment to look around. Okay, enough of that, because we found a Four Roses private selection pick. This one is an 11 year OBSQ and it's 113.8 proof, but we're not gonna get it. We did get this bullet 12 year rye that we forgot to film in the store, but here it is. Old Boozy Barn. Old Boozy Barn is what they call me <laughs> back in the day. I hope no one ever calls me that. Um, you may be asking why after seven stops we left what we were looking for, the Four Rose of Single Barrel Barrel Proof, there. Surely you guys can guess why we left it. $140 before tax just seems like that's not right. That to me just doesn't feel like a win. It doesn't feel like accomplishing the mission when you're paying that no. much over, but that's just me. We can come back is the thing. We can come back. They had enough. <sighs> I don't know, there's a place really close to here called what, Jillian's Gifts and Fine Wines Spe or something like that. Specialty Gifts um, and... That doesn't sound like it's gonna have a lot of bourbon selection. Right, it's not far from here, so let's, let's go to it. We always say don't judge a store by its exterior, but this isn't giving off huge selection vibes. As expected, it's more gifts and wine than bourbon. Here's their entire bourbon selection. But wait, did you catch it? Yep. An 11 year, three month old OBSF at 107.6 proof. Is it less than $140? Yup, $89.99. We found it, folks. We did it! Looky, looky, I got hooky. What? Uh, <laughs> it's from Hook. Uh, $89.99, they had it. $89.99. The last place we would have expected to have it, but they did. See? Don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, I, and I feel like that was what I saw, the only pick that they had there. And it's, a, it's a Four Roses OBSF. OBSF, you know, good price on it. Really glad we didn't go for that $140 one earlier. And, yes. Uh, you know, it says Liquor Mart pick on the bottle. Right. But apparently not the Liquor Marts that we went to in Richmond. It's a different Liquor yeah, Mart. Yeah, and, and she said it just not five minutes ago, but I already can't remember what town. I mean, it's a, a town in Kentucky, but not in Richmond. But not Richmond. Another Liquor Mart, but uh, yeah. anyways, let's take this uh, bad boy back to the it's Bourbon Night Studios, the IBN Studios. Put that in the back, yeah. And uh, crack it open and give it a try. All right, let's do it. Our haul consisted of four bottles, including our challenge bottle, which cost $98.09 after tax and a 3% credit card service fee that no one told us about. The Evan Williams single barrel was $49.80, the Bullet 10-year bourbon was $46.62, and the Bullet 12-year rye was $74.19 for a total spend after tax of $268.70. 
All right, back on the set. Boom. With uh, our find. I love it when we win. Three for four now. But I mean, what if this is like the best Four Roses pick that we've ever had? I think mm. the best Four Roses pick we've ever had is the one that we did. Come well, on. Well, maybe you're honest. a little biased, Not Chad. biased at all. It's pretty good. Possible I mean, it's very pop. good. A lot of spice on that note. Yeah, for sure. Which makes sense. It is the higher rye mash bill. Yeah. Um, black pepper, a little savory. I get a little clove, nutmeg. Yeah, a dry spice, but it doesn't... Yeah, something like a that. A rub. A rub. Okay, well, to our spoils. And to your health. That is spice. Well, that is spice. That's really good. I love the B mash bill. I mean, I like the E's also, mm. but I love the 35% rye, and man, this really delivers on that flavor wow. profile. The F yeast strain is supposed to be like, you know, fruity, spicy, and yeah. I definitely think this delivers there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a little bit of mint in it, which you'll get in that yeast strain, they say. Not a super long finish. Ready for that second sip. Oh, but... I've gone back. I mean, this is, it does, I think it sticks around, but it's not, very heavy and i think that's you know we're at that kind of nice proof level where it's got an impact but it's not really weighing your palate down it's not you're not afterwards you're not like Whew. yeah you know yeah. oh i could drink this i could drink a lot of this and, and we will be and we likely yeah. will be or you know sharing it with perhaps uh, we'll share with some friends and patrons yeah, friends i don't and know patrons for sure <laughs> our goal is to collect all 10 recipes and have you know pretty much full bottles so we can do some blending experiments Ooh. like we participated in the past. Yeah, it's fun so, stuff. So yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Do you recommend these Four Roses picks, especially when you can find them at $90 as opposed to 140 mm. It's just better. It's even just that much better. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed to this rating, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, hunt more bourbon. Mm -hmm.